All right, good morning, Challenger. So I want to have a touch base real quick with you guys. We actually just finished up the 5 a.m. class. Um, so uh, real quick, today we'll be posting a video on what to do after the 90-day challenge. Uh, we had to revamp a few things um, on that. So get it out just a little later than we wanted to, but a lot of you guys won't be ready for that until later this week or until next week. All right, so just real quick touch base um, with you guys. Uh, real real quick, everybody's doing really good, um, fantastic um, on how everybody's looking. Um, I know everybody in this point of the, of the game uh, is pretty tired, lethargic, and probably ready to be done with um, a few things, if not everything at all, uh, everything completely. So um, stay strong, guys. I know we're in our last week. It gets tough. That's pretty normal. Um, some people have come down with some different sicknesses and illnesses um, with all the weather changing and stuff of that nature. Um, just continue to take care of yourself, guys. Get the water in. Um, do your water cycle. If you're having issues in any other areas and departments, um, make sure that you are letting me know that, uh, whether it's a text message or uh, a phone call or seeing me in class. So having a chat after that. Like I said, everybody's doing really good, but at the end of the day, uh, being healthy is what we're looking at, and so making sure that everybody's getting plenty of sleep, rest, things of that nature is really important, um, and making sure they're hitting their food. Okay, guys, so um, good luck. A um, couple things, too. Uh, when it comes to the picture, people have been asking what to wear. Um, like we talked about before, black uh, is the most ideal thing to wear, black shorts, black sports bra or you know just black shorts for the guys uh, if you don't want to wear shorts it's fine you don't have to uh, the legs aren't really like taken into account anyways a whole lot in the picture so it can be um, shorts or pants guys all right so that's definitely what you're looking at for there another tidbit that I want to touch base on we talked about it this morning in class <clears throat> if there's a food item that you really really love and you just cannot wait to indulge in it I would definitely um, tell you to err on the side of caution, especially on overdoing the amount that you eat. Uh, this is why um, there's a few items in my life that I have really, really, really enjoyed, and then I made the mistake of eating an excessive amount of them after the show, and I no longer like those food items. I think I do, but every time I go to eat them, I instantly remind myself of how, I, how sick I felt after doing you know a cut so um, I would definitely tell you guys be careful on that and I would also tell you guys that um, as close to um, homemade or from scratch it can be the less likely you will be to get sick from it all right so I think I've heard a few people talking about going to like Taco Bell or you know someone mentioned McDonald's the other day um, I would definitely err. I would definitely like tell you not to do any of those types of places at all. Um, so we'll discuss in the video today on what food items you want to start to introduce um, back in and how you want to introduce them, kind of some of your freedoms that you'll be given, things of that nature, and what to do after your big feast for Thanksgiving because we know everybody's going to get after some food on Thanksgiving a little bit. So how to kind of come off of that and prevent yourself from gaining any weight back um, that you've lost and any of the results that you've worked so hard for on uh, them all just going out the door. So, alright guys, once again, stay at it. 90 Day Challengers looking great. Um, wish you guys the best of luck. Can't wait to see you guys get your pictures done. 